Yo, what's good guys and welcome back to another video of Mexicano Vlogs. Oh, hey guys. Welcome back to another video of Mexicano Vlogs. So today I bought this Little Caesars pizza. And to be honest, it sucks. So today, I'm gonna be making my own pizza. But I'm gonna let y'all know, I've never made a pizza, so it might suck. But honestly, I'm gonna give it my all, and I'm gonna put my twist to it, and it's gonna be Mexican pizza. So without further ado, let's do this. So first, we have to dispose of the trash. This sucks, so trash. So today, I took a little trip to Walmart, and I bought these ingredients. I think you make pizza with these. I looked online. And yes, flour, of course. But since I'm making a Mexican pizza, I got some chili peppers and meat. This is the most famous Mexican meat. It's called al pastor. And you put it on tacos and it has pineapple. So it's a little Hawaiian as well. Making everything from scratch, by the way. So I'm gonna put some tomatoes in here. Uh, one, two, three, maybe 10. And of course, we're clean people here. We're civilized. So we're gonna clean them. Okay, so we've cut the tomatoes. So we're gonna blend them. And we're gonna put one cup of water. We... And some olive oil. Like two teaspoons. Or tablespoons. Um, that's good, I guess. Okay, now that it's done blending, since it's gonna be a little Mexican, I'm gonna put like three, just so it isn't, it isn't hot, because these can get hot at times, and I don't want my pizza to be hot. So, here we go again. Okay, so it's done mixing. As you can see, we're already cooking our meat here. So, that'll be like 10 minutes or so. And for this, I'm just gonna put it in here. And I'm going to put it at medium heat. Didn't even turn on. There we go. Medium heat. Yeah. The recipe calls for sugar. It says two. No, it says one fourth of a cup. But in my opinion, that's a lot. So we're just going to do that much. That. I think that's good. It also calls for um, garlic salt. So it said two tablespoons. That's good. This also calls for white vinegar. This stuff is really powerful, so I'm actually gonna measure it. Let's hope it's one tablespoon. Uh, there we go. That looks good. Now, let's get to the dough. Okay, since we're all making it from scratch, we're also going to make the dough from scratch. So the recipe calls for one cup of water. So yeah, that's about a cup. And it calls for some yeast. So I got some yeast uh, bacteria. And then one tablespoon of sugar. And now we just let it sit for five minutes. Okay, so this has been sitting for five minutes. So now it needs two cups of flour. So let's get those two cups in there. And then it's gonna need one tablespoon of salt. Okay, that's one. Here comes the second one. All right, two. And then one tablespoon of salt. And now we have to get a little dirty. Start mixing it with our hands. Let's begin. We have to mix it until it turns into balls of all, a flour. All right, guys. So we've been doing for a little this for a little bit, and it's getting a little sticky. But for that, we just gotta put it on the flour so it can unstick from my hand. I don't know if this is good uh, for it to be doing that, but it smells good. 
Okay, so we've been doing this for about 10 minutes and it looks pretty uniform, pretty solid. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat it and of course you need some olive oil. Put it in here. Oh, it's hot. Okay, we're gonna just put it in here for five minutes and we wait. Okay, I got some flour right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start playing with it again. As you can see, I have pizza techniques. I studied in the ancient school of um, Leonardo da Vinci in Italy for pizza making. And now we have to put it back in for another five minutes, just like it is. Just a little hot from the, from the preheating. And then we can take it out in five minutes to begin decorating our pizza. But this time, we're going to be using the famous roller. We have to shape it into this size, like about this big. It's going to be a big pizza because we like big food in this channel. Check this out, guys. It's actually looking like a pizza now. I'm proud of myself. Alright, so we have our dough on the pan. As you can see, I made a bunch of little holes so the air can, can escape. And on my pizza, some of y'all know that I like cheese crust or stuffed crust. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put cheese all around. And then I'm gonna be closing it up so it's stuffed crust and it's gonna be amazing. Okay, now that we have our crust done with the cheese inside, it's time for the sauce. The special sauce that took about an hour to make. It looks pretty, pretty thick. Alright, here we go. It doesn't look red, but it looks pretty good. Now that we got the sauce on, it's time for some cheese. But just a little cheese because we're going to put the meat on top and then even more cheese. Check that out. You can call me and I'll make you one. Now, this is al pastor. It's the meat that I was talking about. And we're just going to put some on top. It's already got pineapple inside. But I'm going to put more pineapple on top after that because I love pineapple. And we're not trying to make it look small. We like big pizza. So everyone can eat really good and get fat. Okay, after this, I'm going to put more pineapple just in random areas. So everyone can have enough of it. Because it's really good. It's healthy. And it doesn't hurt you. And to end this all, look at it. It looks beautiful. But guess what? We like cheese even more. Here it goes. Check that out, guys. Beautiful. It needs way more cheese than that. I'm actually really happy for this, guys. I thought it was going to look... Well, we don't know about the taste. We don't know about it yet. But the looks... It looks pretty good so far. Oh, hey guys. Okay, so our last step is to put it in the oven for 20 minutes. It's already preheated. 18 minutes. And now we start. Okay guys, check this out. We have it ready. 
And today I brought the master taster, my brother. He's going to be tasting it before I do. And he's going to be rating it from a 1 to 10. So let's cut this pizza. How long did it take you to make the pizza? It took like an hour. Do you think it's going to be worth it? Yes. Did you put cheese in the crust? You'll see. Alright, alright. Okay, here it goes. The moment of truth. Your slice, my sir. Thank you. I feel honored. Ooh. And this is my slice. Look at that. I do have to say, this, this pizza's a little more like filled and chunky than other pizzas from other brands. Alright, I gotta get the drink ready. Alright. Alright, after all this time, we can finally taste it. Let's get right into it. One, two, three. Put a little um, hot peppers, you know, it's Mexican style pizza. Oh, I see the pineapples too. Many people don't like pineapples on their pizza, but in, you can't question it on the Mexican pizza. I have to say, it's a little hot. Not spicy hot, but the temperature is still hot. It gives me memories from tacos. It tastes like tacos. It really does. The El Pastor. And the... Pineapple and bread. It's just like a taco. Mm. I think you really captured Mexico in this pizza today. You heard it, guys. Hello, guys. This is it. We've come a long way. Thank you for watching. Go smash like and subscribe if you like the video. Share it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.